Hello everybody, Brittany Carmichael here, bringing you Woo Woo Wednesday, where I offer a free weekly tarot card reading to bring you what the energy is like and to see what steps that we need to to be aware of on our journey here on this earth. And the energy is a high one this week because we just had a full moon yesterday in Libra. It's a full moon of release and celebration. And this one is all about our emotions, kind of our intuitive side. It's dealing a lot with our romantic relationships as well and partnerships. So the full moon that was yesterday invites you to celebrate how far you've come and to release all that no longer positively serves you moving into to this next phase of creating and we also have mercury in retrograde that happened on Sunday and everybody's like oh no mercury in retrograde but I love this time as long as you can laugh at yourself a lot and just go easy on yourself it's so inviting to reinvent yourself and to slow down and relax and rejuvenate your energy because if we're hustling 100% of the time, we're going to burn out. And so retrogrades invite us to slow down, to recalibrate, to rejuvenate, and to replan and to refocus your attention on what it is you really want to be doing. We also have Venus in retrograde grade, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto will join retrograde next week. So, so many planets are slowing down. That's what retrograde means. So they're slowing down and that's inviting us to tune inside and to allow the energy to kind of settle so that we can see what's going on before we begin this next phase. Dana says, yay, I finally made one live. Hi, all the way from uh, Hawaii. So I'm so glad you're here, darling. So I had a, a spark of inspiration before I jumped on here for Woo Wednesday. I wanted to grab my Archangel Power deck, which I love using for you guys. Hey, Sarah. If you're here, say hello. I love talking to everyone and tuning into your energy. Last time we had the most powerful reading ever. So this, today, I want to see. So I got this deck. I'm going to do my normal three-card draw, but I also grabbed my butterfly deck just to see what are the life changes that we're currently going through. What do we need to focus on? on. Hello Anne, hello Catherine, thank you so much for being here. I love being present with you guys and sharing and tuning into the energy that we're feeling that's going on in the world and how we can make more sense of it and stay grounded, balanced, and calm. So I created a full moon release ritual blog for you so you can do it in the privacy of your own home. If there's something that you've been holding on to, a negative belief, an, an old image that you're imagining in your mind, or crusty old emotions and feelings that are coming up, full moons are a great time to symbolically release because there's so much reflection of the sun's light of, on the moon, because you guys know the moon doesn't have its own light, it's just a reflection. So the moon reflects the light, the sun's light inward so that we can see more clearly. When there's more light shining inward, you can see more clearly. So full moons allow you to look inside and go, okay, what needs to be rearranged? What needs to be re released? And this full moon blog will help you to release that energy. I'm going to pull this up really quick and put it in the comments below so that you guys can have that whenever you, boom, there you go. So whenever you need to let go, I want you guys to go to this full moon release ritual. And you can do it every full moon. It isn't just once in a blue moon, which means two full moons in a month, but it can be done any day, any time. But when the moon is full, we have more energy and more availability to see clearly inward. Ashley says, hello, so nice to see you. She says, I made it to one live. Uh, Vala says, hello, hello everybody, thank you so much. Dana says, I did this ritual last night. Oh, let us know what, how you feel. Do you feel lighter, more free? I just love this release. So I offer this to you. If there's something you've been wanting to let go of, I've created this release ritual so that you can do that on your own. All, all we have in this life, we already like have the power within us to create it, to dream it, to make it happen. And this is just going to help guide you to that place within you that knows what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into our cards. Like I said, I'm going to do three cards from the Archangel deck, and then I'm going to do one card from the Oracle Butterfly for Life Changes deck. I just feel like we need that extra, like, what are the changes happening? Rachel says, love it. I've got a lot to release. Well, then you will love it. Do it over and over. And honestly, I would pick one or two 
main emotions or feelings or beliefs or whatever it may be and do that with just the intention because the more you focus on one thing uh, the easier it is for you to be more specific and clear and to release it and then repeat the process for the next feeling Dana says yes much much better I'm also doing a juice cleanse and yesterday was feeling very yucky and today much better lighter and more hopeful thank you well that's too perfect because I just posted in the shine tribe my daily go-to green juice recipe so we're in alignment sister okay so I'm gonna shuffle with the intention that everyone here watching or anyone watching the playback receives the mess okay three cards just fell out <laughs> that we all receive the message that we most need in this moment. Literally three cards just fell out. I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to set them right here. And that was crazy. I, you really can't make that kind of stuff up. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the other deck, get one card out of there since they came so easily. How cool is that? <laughs> I can't wait to see what came up. You guys know how powerful last week's uh, woo, woo video was so who knows what is in store for us today all right so I'm asking that the butterfly cards show us that life change that we're all collectively going through that we need extra guidance love or help everyone can welcome noodles to the stage <laughs> and I just like to shuffle pick them up throw them around and wait till one pops up or flips over or all three pop out of the deck and then I just trust my intuition on which one wants to be pulled. Hi, Noodles. Are you helping? <laughs> All right, so what is that life change that we need to focus on that we're all currently going through? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. It just fell out. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set that off to the side as well, and then I will tune in to what is our message for the week. And I'm so happy to see all of you here. They are jumping. They are releasing emotions, something I never thought of. Oh, honey, our muscles are trapped with them. So, like, if you've ever had a deep tissue massage or something like that, or even just doing, like, yoga work, you get into a deep posture that unlocks a certain muscle in your body, and emotions that have been trapped in there for years will release themselves. And I had this one experience doing kundalini yoga where I did a heart chakra opening, and I'm doing these breathing meditations, and all of a sudden, I'm witnessing myself crying I wasn't the I wasn't the person that was crying and caught up in the emotion but I was like in my spirit seat like step back going wow tears are falling down my face I'm feeling lighter and freer what is happening and that was the moment that I realized that we are not our emotions but we do store them and trap them in our physical body which we are not our body as well we are the witness inside of it all, behind it all. And so as I was witnessing these emotions coming up and releasing, I was feeling so free. And I, and I didn't like consciously choose to do it. I wasn't like, oh, this painful thing from high school has been bothering me. I'm going to let that go now. I just opened up the space to do the work with intention to heal and to receive love and light. And what needs to be happen will happen. It will release as you open the space for it. All right, let's dive in, guys. Ooh, the chariot number seven this is a very very strong card of willpower and determination it's about balance and going after what you want this card um, is blessed by the Archangel Metatron and he is also a very powerful angel you can see here um, on this chariot whoops sorry guys there is a Merkaba um, this golden symbol and this is the uh, it's called the Merkaba or Metatron's Cube, and it is an activation of power. So this card says determination and self-control, career advancement, and acknowledgement of success by others. So this card is saying that you will be acknowledged for the work that you're doing as long as you keep staying motivated and in control of your energy, as long as you keep moving forward step at step by step and staying balanced in your power and your truth, then other people will recognize that. And because it's so authentic, you will be you will be recognized for it. Um, it's saying self uh, self control. So this is really important when we're talking about balance because this is related to career advancement. 
if you're in hustle mode, just as I talked about at the beginning of this video, if you're hustling all the time, hustle, 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 you're going to burn out and you're going to lose steam and you're going to just crash completely. So this card is saying, have self-control, know when you need to step back and slow down. And with this being a time of retrograde, there are going to be many external invitations opportunities that are going to arise that are going to say, hey, slow down. It's okay. Just keep moving forward, but slow your pace when you need to, when you know that your energy is low. This card says determination. This card is all about having that willpower and having the discipline to get up every day and say, I'm going to keep doing, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep achieving my dream even when it gets tough, even when I don't think that I'm doing anything in the world, even when no one else sees all the hard work that I'm doing. This card is saying to stay determined, to, to keep going after it, and when you're coming from that place of passion, that Others will notice that and you will be acknowledged. Great card. Hi, Noodles. <laughs> All right. The, oh, yes. This card came up for me today in my own personal reading. So ugh, it's so beautiful to see it come up here, guys. We've got the Queen of Gabriel. This um, is from the suit of air uh, of the wands. And so this is all about inspiration. I, when I first got my tarot deck, and I invite you to do the same if you practice tarot, is to go through all of the cards and decide which card resonates the most with you. Which energy do you embody the most? What card is a representation of you right now? Now, this may change over time, but when I first got the, my first deck, this was the card I chose for my personal energy because... Well, I don't, you know, it says passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. Now, we can be proud of who we are and our gifts that we have. So I take honor and pride in that, knowing that I have the gift of inspiration and, um, you know, like uh, confidence to be uh, connected with other people and to share my ideas. So this card says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want and the ability to attract helpful people. So I love this card because just like the chariot, when you're putting in your focus and your energy and your attention, you're like a magnet. And as you put more of that passion forward, you draw more and more of it into you. So this card says you can do anything you want. So what is that dream? What are you here to realize? What is your purpose? And now is the time to follow that. You can do it. You have, you don't even know how many people see your beauty and see how wonderful you truly are. So now is the time to believe in yourself and to have confidence knowing that you're here on a mission to spread light, love, creativity, passion, joy, laughter. I mean, all this feel good stuff, right? Anne says, I got balance in my reading today too. Balance is key in no matter what day it is. <laughs> Okay, uh, go after anything you want. Like I said, what is that dream that you're here to realize? Leave it in the comments right now. Claim it. Own it. Like, let the universe know, I'm here to do this work. I am here to experience this. I am here to grow this thing. I'm here to create blank. I'm here to heal and release. What is it? Leave it in the comments because as you own it, as you claim it, it becomes realized for you. And the ability to attract helpful people. You are a magnet and as you believe in yourself, you're going to attract like-minded people who believe in you as well. And just as last week's Woo Woo Wednesday came up on a whim, the mastermind idea was born and I decided to open the doors again to my mastermind. So I call you, I invite you. If you're looking for a tribe of like-minded people, now is the chance. I only have three seats left and the doors close next week and will begin on May 2nd. Now there are a lot of details about this awesome mastermind so I won't tie up our time together for Woo Woo Wednesday and if you'll leave the comment to the mastermind details below you guys can go check that out. Now I know you guys have been following me and hearing about this mastermind. It's been intuitively just inspired to be created and to open the doors again. So it's so fun to see when my soul says do this, create this, open this. And if your soul says ooh I like that, I want to be a part of that, then go now. Don't wait because when you put your minds together, when you decide and you have that willingness to just say okay I'm going after it, you will attract those helpful people situations and opportunities that you need to keep moving forward. You won't know who they are, where they come from, or how they're going to get here, but as long as you decide and commit, this is what I'm doing, this is what I need help with, show me the way. 
it will unfold for you. Ah, yes, exactly what I'm talking about. Eight of Ariel is all about getting um, more education. <laughs> and surrounding yourself with wise teachers and friends. So it says, take great pride in your excellent work. Just as I mentioned, I totally am, I, I can be proud that I'm passionate and charming and independent. I've worked really hard to cultivate some of those skills. So I want you to pick what is that card that resonates with you and then be proud of it, celebrate it. This card says practice makes perfect and uh, consider getting additional education or training Honestly, how could it be more in alignment with talk, just opening up about the mastermind? When you surround yourself with people, I, I just was asked in my Shine Tribe on Q&A Tuesday, what do you do if you feel insecure around your group of friends that are smarter than you, that have more knowledge than you? And I told her to look at it from a new perspective because you've done a great thing. If you're wanting to learn and grow and expand, you've got to step outside your comfort zone and get in the rink with other players that are operating at a higher level so that you can expand, so that you can be inspired to be uplifted. Because when you see other people achieving the things that you want in your life, then it is obvious that it's possible for you because we're no different. Anne says, ah, oh, this totally matches my reading today. I love them. There is alignment signs. And Katie says, I was planning out my class schedules today. Yes. So this, this is talking about getting more education. So you're afraid to take the next step moving forward because you don't know what to do or it's new for you. But I have to remind you that everything you've ever done in your life was new at some point and you had to learn how to do it. You're a master at tying your shoes now, but at one point in your lifetime, you were upset by it. You didn't know how to do it. You had to learn it. So just as starting a new career or a new path, there's going to be tons of new things to learn. Don't let that stop you from moving forward. Don't be, don't be okay with being comfortable in the box that, the comfortable box that you've created. Step outside of the comfort zone, reach for more knowledge, reach for more support, and know that it will be there as you take that step forward. Your action and the energy and intention behind it will attract those helpful people into your life. So keep practicing. If you want to get better at extemporaneous speaking without using notes, then practice. Don't write notes. Don't write your outline. Maybe write a couple words and then start practicing from there. Or if you want to get better at filming videos, get on a video right now and start filming. That's the only way you're going to get better. Practice, practice, practice. It makes proficient. So not perfect. There's no such thing. You're going to continue to evolve and to learn and to grow. Jenny says, woo woo, I'm on the mastermind school train. Yes, you are, Jenny. I celebrate. I literally jumped up and did a dance when I saw that you joined this morning. I love working with you in the one-on-one -on -one tarot readings. And I, like I said to you before, I see huge things for you, sister. You are here to shine so bright. And so I can't wait to help you move past anything that's having you cover your light or hide or, or unconscious blocks. So I'm here to support you, sister. All right, so I drew one card from the Butterfly Oracle deck for life changes to go along with our three card reading. So let's see what came up, guys. Ooh, this is really powerful. And I know this is gonna be really powerful in my mastermind group. This seems to be the theme that's coming up. Grief work is the card. Grief work is about healing pains from the past because you're here in the present and all of that stuff is gone. But there's an image, there's an emotion, there's a belief that is stored away, locked away in your mind and your body that says, no, that's what's real, that's what happened. But the past is over and we're here to open up to release and to let those feelings and emotions go so that we're not trapped by them. We can create our own freedom through the avenue of forgiveness and release, recognizing with compassion that what happened in the past made us stronger. It made us wiser. It wasn't easy, but it had to be that way. Otherwise, you'd never learn the lesson. So Go get, <laughs> go get on that full moon release ritual because grief work is exactly tied to that emotion. So if there's, if there's anything that's lingering where you're not fully, if you're not waking up in the morning 
throwing back the covers and saying, hello world, I'm here, what's next? What amazing, exciting thing do you have for me? I can't wait to see what comes my way. If you're not waking up feeling that way, then there's something that needs to be healed. There's some shift in perception that we need to find for you so that you can find the joy in every moment. Knowing that, yeah, sometimes life is hard, but as we recognize that and we own it, we can transcend it. We can step back and say, all things are happening for my highest good, what good can come from this? Why, what is this teaching me? How will you have me learn? What is the lesson? So grief work is all about healing those past pains and letting go of the images that we're holding in our mind about who we are or who we used to be because we can say very, very confidently that today I am a different person than I was yesterday, five years ago, ten years ago, from birth, from lifetimes, it doesn't matter. You are constantly changing every single day, evolving and growing because you're learning something new each day. So celebrate the small wins so that you can keep that momentum and that motivation to keep going towards your big dreams because they're possible. Anything you imagine in your mind's eye and you commit to with passion from the heart, you will achieve it. That is just how it works. But all you have to do is believe in yourself and actually take that next step Step that you're guided to otherwise you'll never find out that that dream is meant for you Whew, this is a good one guys so much energy coming through this is a, a message of let's see what is the message this is a message of saying believe in yourself you have all the power and confidence in you that you need to move forward except for that last little fear of like but I don't know how to do this well let me tell you I didn't know how to build a blog I didn't know how to record a thing. I didn't know I needed a microphone. I didn't know I needed that. I didn't know I needed this. But guess what? I knew that I had a message to share with the world and I thought none of that nonsense is going to hold me back from telling people that it's okay to love yourself. That it's okay to shine. And so I learned. I filmed terrible videos. I filmed videos that didn't have any audio and it was just my mouth moving like wow that's going to work. So know that you're going to stumble along the way and there's a lot of things that you're going to need need to learn, but don't let that stop you from moving towards that new direction that your soul has been calling you to do. The grief work, honestly, whoop, hello. See, let it go. Just let the grief go. That was as simple as that. Um, just let go. Why are you still holding on to it? it? Does it make you feel good? Is it positively serving you anymore? Maybe in the past it did, but it is no longer serving you. So it's time to let go. And all it takes is a willingness and intention and you to open up and create the space and say, okay, I'm letting this go. I'm releasing this now. And this full moon release ritual will definitely help you. Know that in the few passing days of the full moon, there's still powerful energy to be able to activate this ritual. You can do it any time, but definitely use the moon's energy because as you know, all the crazies come out in the full moon. Anyone that works in the medical field will tell you that the hospital is full on full moons. So know that there is extra energy helping you to cut those ties and release that energy. If you feel like there's something stuck, I just want you to take a big deep breath, inhale right now, and as you exhale, let it go. Just set the intention. I'm releasing. Thank you, Anne, for posting the full moon release ritual. If you guys need an extra source of release, go check this out. Do it tonight. Light a candle, burn away your problems, and start the day fresh. And if you need that extra account and support and like-minded sisterhood, then I urge you, if anything inside of you at all is like, ooh, that sounds fun, click on the mastermind link right now. We have three seats left and the doors close next week and we'll start May 2nd. So check out the details. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. And I also opened up a new payment plan so it's easier for you to make this happen because I know many of you are wanting to join but you're just a little bit scared to invest in yourself. But when you invest in you, the universe invests back. And so as you put out that energy and put that uh, intention out there, it will be magnetized and, re and reciprocated from the universe. So invest in yourself if you're ready to take it to the next level. And I will see you guys on Friday 
for the Elevated Life series. I'm curious, do you guys have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover on this week's Elevated Life? We have a whole list of good ones that we want to choose from, but we still want to hear from you. What are topics that you're currently dealing with or struggling? Be sure to leave it in the comments, shoot me a message because we love covering your topics. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me here on Woo Woo Wednesday where I deliver a weekly tarot card reading. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to tag a friend who would use this message, who needs this message, and be sure that you subscribe to the live notification so that you know when I go live every Wednesday. It's never at a set time. I let the universe guide me, and uh, I always like to give you guys a heads up and a reminder, but if you subscribe to the notifications, you don't even have to think about it. So go do that now, and if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one private reading, you know where to find me. So thank you so much for joining me here this Wednesday, and I will see you guys on Friday for the Elevated Life series. Thanks everyone. Believe in your dreams. It's possible. Let me just prove I came from the trailer park. <laughs> it's possible. Anything is possible. You just have to decide and you just have to believe. Bye.